Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we're going to do a special episode of Sovereign Citizen Shorts, where we take a look at a series of documents, forgeries, or any type of construction paper project done by sovereign citizens. We have a good laugh and we break it down a little bit. Thank you again for joining me. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Those are free ways to support the show. Also, consider becoming a patron. There is a link for my Patreon in the description below. Every donation goes towards freeing up the time, energy, and resources that I need to produce this show. Thank you all very much. Now, let's take a look at this first document here. What are we looking at over... Oh, whoop, whoop over here right next to me it is a citation a traffic citation you can see from the top it says instructions for response by mail this is usually a document that the sovereign citizens completely ignore or throw in the trash well oh, oh, oh not this one everybody not this one this sovereign citizen he or she is going to make a point. Yes, they're going to make a point with this one. And what, what's the point they made? Well, let's read it right in the middle of the document there. It says, I do not accept this offer to contract, nor do I consent to these proceedings. Guess what? Guess what? This is not a contract. This is not a contract. This is, if you want to respond to this, you can maybe get a hearing and challenge this. If you don't, we're going to find you guilty and probably issue a warrant. That's what this is. So you do have a choice, but it's not a contract. Also, they're not asking for your consent, okay? There's nothing in there about consent. They're asking if you plead guilty or not guilty, and you therefore can assert your rights. But they're not asking if you consent to these proceedings. Guess what? These proceedings are going to happen regardless. It's called the rule of law. Now, this sovereign citizen cites UCC 1308, which is a term in the universe, is a uh, provision of the Uniform Commercial Code, which allows parties to a contract to reserve any rights that are not explicitly stated in the contract. So when they sign a contract, they can be sure that they're not giving up rights that aren't explicitly stated. That's all UCC 1308 stands for. The Uniform Commercial Code doesn't even apply necessarily in all 50 states, okay? Some states have uh, codified certain portions of the Uniform Commercial Code, and some states have not. So 1308 may not even apply in the state that you're in. Even if it does, it only applies to a commercial transaction and it is not going to apply to this citation for you to go and see your local judge. This sovereign citizen is going to end up number one with a buttload of fines, number two, possibly with a warrant, and number three, I know this is the one you all are rooting for, he or she may in fact end up in jail. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't work. Don't try this at home. Let's look at our next piece of sovereign citizen gold. Ooh, it's always fun when they get the mail involved. So let's 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 read what's written here. So this is from MDHS State Department unit. That's the document at the top. The second document is the census. I don't know what that first letter is. MDHS State Disbursement Unit. Um, I don't know if they're looking for money or trying to give this person money. And then the census, well, we know what they're doing. They want they want them to fill out the census so that the United States can uh, count the number of people that we have in the country. What did this sovereign citizen write? Return back to sender mail fraud. Right. Just because you say it is doesn't make it so. All rights reserved without prejudice. We got we got some more um we got some more UCC action going on. He wrote at the top of this one letter, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I do not understand your intent. I do not have an international treaty with you. This could be a more, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a Moorish sovereign citizen if he's going back to international treaties, right? Because that's the only thing that they say applies between the Moroccans, the native Moroccans in, in the American government is the, uh, the, the 1787 treaty or whatever year it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. They say that still applies. It grants all Moorish sovereign citizens diplomatic immunity. Wrong, 
Wrong. Not true. Not true. Here uh, on the, the, the address part, no contract, no assured value, no liability, all rights reserved without prejudice. Dude, what do you do? What do you do? Who are you proving? What are you proving here? Um, what do we got on this bottom one? Non-domestic, non-resident, non-assumption without the United States. Feels more and more like a Moorish sovereign citizen. Return to sender. And uh, I do not know who you are. I do not understand your intent. Yeah, you're not supposed to know who they are. But I think you understand the intent. Just fill out the document and send it back. It's the census. It's the census. Google it. Google it. Uh, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Okay, let's let's check out our next uh, our next fun piece of literature here. Oh, I saved the best for last. I saved the best for last. So let's look at the top here. This looks like a strange form of English. Let's read. We have much to celebrate this some upcoming new year. We have made so much pro progress during this grand rising with an E. Our sovereign ancient Al Moroccan Moorish American United States Post Office has a 100% success rate for parcels delivered and for parcels not returned undeliverable nor refused. Feely, that ancient sovereign living natural divini originale indigenous energy, I do too. This is the grand rising. I did not know the sovereign, the more sovereign citizens had their own form of English. I did not know that. This seems to be an alternate form of English or at least alternate spelling. Um, the best part here, 100% success rate, 100% success rate. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that's not true. That's not true. Please, please don't, don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Boy, this stuff keeps getting better and better as the movement gets bigger and bigger all the time. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you caught a few laughs here. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy where we dissect the nonsense of the sovereign citizens. If you want to support my show, consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Shout out to my current patrons who make this show possible. Jonathan Backman, Tom Castro, Michael Rain, Art Vandalay, Jacqueline Chandler, Richard P Pierce, Pim Van Muers, and Romantis. Thank you all very much. You are my most dedicated supporters, some of my most dedicated supporters. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Common Sense Academy out. I will be back soon. Hopefully next Wednesday, we're going to do a live stream. Love you guys. Peace.